practice 4a. First thing you're going to do is graph where the angle goes. Hopefully you're starting to get a little faster at this. 225 is going to be in quadrant 3. There's our 225. Now we put a point on this terminal ray. This is the point that is our unit circle point. Make our right triangle from it. And now we find the reference angle. So that's what this part is, back to the x-axis. So I can do 225 minus 180 to get me a reference angle of 45. So because this is a 45, 45, 90, that means the sides on the triangle are the same, which means they're both 1 over root 2. Because they're the same, isosceles. However, because we're in quadrant 3, they should both be negative because we're in quadrant 3. So now I can do cosine of 225, sine of 225. They both equal negative 1 over root 2. And that's the unit circle. See how fast that was? Let's try another one. We got 11 pi 6. So always start by visualizing where 11 pi 6 is. 11 6 is almost 2. So that's going to be right here. And make a point that's going to be on our unit circle. Make our triangle. This reference angle right here is going to be pi 6 or 30 degrees. So this is our 30, 60, 90, which means the short side is 1 half. The long side is root 3 over 2, except because we're in quadrant 4, the y value is going to be negative because we're in quadrant 4. So that can tell us that our x value was root 3 over 2, and our y value was negative 1 half. And you're done. See how fast that is to do the unit circle this way? So here's what I want you to do. Pause the video and try the last two on your own. This one is negative, so be careful with that, but your reference angle should still be 30, 45, or 60. This one, you're going to end up going around the circle more than once, so make sure you graph it in the right place, and then do your reference angles, figure out your points, and do cosine and sine. Try that, and then come back to check your work. Let's check your work. Over here, I got negative 5, poi, 5 pi force right there. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, so I have 1 over root 2 on both sides, negative on the x because we're in quadrant 2. 7 pi thirds went all the way around this circle, and pi thirds more. So that has a reference angle of pi thirds, or 60 degrees, so this is a 30, 60, 90. Short side is 1 half, long side is root 3 over 2. Put those in as my x's and y's, and you're done. So, that right there is the unit circle. Really, it is as simple as that. That is the unit circle. You graph where the angle is, find the reference angle, do the point with the sides, add in the signs, negatives for which quadrant it's in, and you're done. That's the whole shebang. So, hopefully all of that makes the unit circle a lot easier for you.